All right, time for a look at the arts and lifestyle. Adam's here. Yeah, and starting things off uh, with a neuroscientist at UVic uh, that's exploring the possibilities of becoming a real comic book superhero. E. Paul Zare's latest book is called Inventing Iron Man, and based on at least two international news stories today, humans are striving to be super. A real-life caped crusader captured on camera sustaining very real injuries. It's under my eye over here on this yeah, I can see your eye, it's all swollen. Phoenix Jones is making news in Seattle today for attempting to fight crime in a custom-made suit. And then there's this complex costume that transforms a human into the Iron Man. This isn't such a big reach. We're not talking about some guy born on another planet like Superman or something like that. We're, we're all from Earth, so I think we can deal with uh, thinking about this. E. Paul Zare has been thinking a lot about the possibilities of this super suit on our body and our brain. His theories compiled together in the book Inventing Iron Man. The best thing is to think of uh, the Iron Man suit of armor as a good rehab tool. Imagine somebody who has difficulty moving after a spinal cord injury or stroke could be able to you know, use some of that technology to help them in their abilities. But with great potential power comes the possibility of great pitfalls. When we already have an intact nervous system and nothing's wrong with their bodies, if we use that kind of interface all the time, it's going to weaken our body to a certain extent because we're not using it the way we were before and can create some weird things that might happen in our brains that might lead to phantom limbs and phantom pains and so on. So there's a lot of things to consider. While Zare explores the science of superheroes... It's one of the reasons you see stars when you hit the back of your head. You're, you're actually very close to the parts of the brain that are controlling and giving you visual information. Herbert Chavez uses surgery to become one. proportion of the Superman. A decade-long transformation to make himself look more like the Man of Steel. Up, up, and away! A superficial exercise compared to Zare's more substantial goal. Really try and give people a, a taste of the mystery of their nervous systems and how their bodies work and to empower them to think about, even if a little bit of the idea of Iron Man, for example, has some reality, it helps us push ourselves a little bit more to think about what we can do as you know, just regular folks. But be careful if you're inspired to don your own suit. Seattle's crime fighter was just arrested for accidentally assaulting the people he was attempting to save. And E. Paul Zare will be speaking at the New York Comic Convention this weekend. Uh, then his book launch is October 25th at UVic's library. You can find full details by visiting inventingironman.com.